Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin'. It's D-Boss React to this vid by Lovely TTV. This is Krishan and Blueface argue about keeping their baby. Social media weighs in and Krishan wants him back. Is she not past the point to abort? It, it's still time for her... Let's see what's happening. Hey, tea sippers. Hope you guys are doing good. Just coming through with some more Dragon Ball tea on our favorite couple. It's been a hot mess all day long concerning Krishan Rock and Blueface. So what's going down is this. This morning, Krishan took to social media and she was basically saying that she was considering aborting her child. And um, she just feels like she's stressed. You know, she's tired of the back and forth with Blueface. And it seems like he doesn't care about her. And she's really, you know, heartbroken about the whole situation. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video right here. So I got a music video today. Um, I'm going Bitch, we better go have fun. You got time to go to the hospital. I should go too with you to get this abortion on. No real shit. I don't know what to do. I can't be pregnant while this nigga's like. I think that's what he's trying to do. <coughs> Can't be pregnant while this nigga's like. No, he's purposely trying to hurt me because what I said in my life when I was like, what did I say? I said he cock blocking, and I said he up there. So he went ballistic, posted a baby mother that he don't like. So he like, he like, this is what you did. You just showed your titties? She's like, damn, what the fuck? You show your titties on Instagram live? I wanna get with your cheating ass shit. It's war now. It's like war. You trying to shit on me and on a bitch, you don't even shit on That's why I'm like, damn, I might just, just kill this baby. Oh, no. I you talk about you got all those tattoos and missing to I'm like, bro, what do you have got to do with how pretty I am? Nothing. Stop playing with me. All right, so you guys just saw those videos. So once Blueface woke up from performing at his dead ass concert Ooh. in Dubai, child, wasn't nobody hyped. He was doing that same dance. Ew, I just remember I saw him live. <laughs> well, just this view. I had this exact view from the side when I went to uh, Cardi B's uh, party. She had like a collaboration with Fashion Nova when I was working with them. Um, and they invited me to her event. So I saw her perform and I saw this thing perform. He brought a mop on stage. It was ghetto. If you was following me on Instagram around that time, you saw it. <laughs> but ghetto that I saw this hot mess live. Anyways, I guess it must have been a long night for him, but he finally woke up and he started tweeting and going off on Krishan. He feels like once again, she's looking for attention. <laughs> so the first thing Blueface says is do it, please. Meaning he wants her to go and have an abortion. Ooh. Then he says, I got two kids and one BM for a reason. I don't just have kids with anybody. Why I'm real you? particular about the women I have children with. I don't play by my kids and their well-being, nurture, and care. Brock can't even take care of me like a woman should, and I'm a grown man. Imagine a newborn. Then he says, physically fighting on the red carpet, throwing the first punch after announcing a pregnancy, is clearly not mentally fit to put their you pride aside for the either. betterment of their child. Neither that was the are. first red flag for me. I only like blue. Shut up. It's... <laughs> He has the audacity. What he's saying is 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 not is not cap. Okay, he has a point. But you also are just as toxic. You also are not mentally fit. What are we talking about? Fags, it's been a no for me. Then he goes on to say, "Bitch at the club every night, shaking ass, pregnant. I promise, it's been a no for me." Then he posts a video of Krishan where she was talking about how, how he's cock blocking her from other guys. And he says this, I'm cock blocking pregnant? a pregnant bitch. Laugh my ass <laughs> off. Please do it. Pretty please. I'll pay for real. A honey K cash and the fees. Then you 
cock blocking me with fucking with other niggas when you out in the bar. That's wild to say when you pregnant. Oh my god. And then Krishan comes back and she says no in response to him. Then she says, I'm not even Ray. Tweet back, have fun. That last tweet didn't make any sense. So then after that, it was kind of quiet. Um, you know, this caused a big discussion online as far as like people are really going back and forth on if she should keep this child or she should go through with the pregnancy. And should. I don't know, it's if just kind of disturbing because I'm just thinking to myself, if she goes through with the pregnancy, this baby has to eventually learn what social media is and Google, you know what I'm saying, like their life and their birth. And to know that... So does his current kids. That's that's the fucking kicker. So while he running his mouth and pointing the finger at her and, oh, you look how terrible you looking, da 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 Look at how terrible you're looking, sir. Your your kids have access to this. You're, you have a son that's, he's, he's old. <laughs> I'm sure he knows how to work a, a phone and a laptop. So he can look up your bullshit right now. That's embarrassing. At Little League, people are having think pieces on if I should be aborted or not before I'm even, you know, here on earth. It's just crazy. You know, my thing is this. Um, I get the people who say that she should have an abortion because it's like, you know, who wants to deal with the headache of having blue face for baby daddy for the next 18 plus years? Exactly. That's but then on the other half, I, I understand to, you know, Kids don't ask to be here. Babies are a blessing, you know, regardless of the circumstance. But I will no, say this. Oh, no, I don't agree with bringing a child into such a toxic situation. I don't agree with that. I don't agree. I get that baby and I can respect doomed. you face saying that he don't want a whole bunch of kids out here by different women. He's not trying to be Nick Cannon. You know, that's a whole nother trifling ass person. And are coming to E for the mother of oh. all game shows. Having club baby with Nick Cannon. No, he's not trying to be Nick Cannon. He's not trying to be NBA young boy. He wants to have his kids by one woman, allegedly. Oh. He only has two children by the same woman. I can respect that no, if you're no actually box. trying to do something to prevent pregnancy, okay? Um, we all watched their viral porn tape. Krishan has made it very clear she's not on birth control. She likes it raw. He obviously doesn't believe in condoms, even though he's smashing multiple women and going between, we know for a fact, Jade and Alexis and Krishan. In that porn tape, I didn't see Nan condom. So for somebody who's very adamant about his children being by the same woman and not wanting different baby mamas. It doesn't look like he's doing a whole lot to prevent pregnancy. You know, so that's the part that doesn't make sense exactly. to me. We're all grown here. We all know, you know, what it takes to have children. And if you don't want children, then you don't put yourself in a position to become a father to somebody that you don't want to have a child with. When you don't want to have a child with somebody, you stop fucking them. Okay? And especially you stop raw dogging them. Because raw dogging equates eventually somebody's going to get pregnant. And she's been pregnant before. Now, she says that she's been pregnant several times. He so, says it's not hmm. true. This was another tweet that he also sent. He says, Rock has only had one abortion by me. I don't know why she keeps saying three, four, five. Y'all remember the first pregnancy stick that she posts, right? The line was faint as hell, lying ass. She showed plenty of signs of dishonesty. For kicks and giggles, imagine what she lies about on a bigger scale. Now, I get being wary of her lies, but again, why keep messing with her? Exactly. Why keep having sex with her? And why keep putting yourself in a situation where she could be a potential baby's mother? If you have all these trust issues and you think that she's off mentally and she's not going to be a fit mother, then why even sleep with this young girl? It doesn't make any sense. Then somebody says to him, they say, stop doing this on social media, bro. She's pregnant. Y'all always get back together because y'all love each other. So just save yourself the embarrassment of all of this, for real. Then he replies back. He says, the truth hurts, for real. So then after he says that, he goes on to say, this is what Twitter's made for. And then he says, I'ma get disrespectful till a bitch get respectful every time. Then he says, but, 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 ain't no buts. It's my way or the highway. I'll give a bitch the boot the day of her birthday. I'll let a bitch leave before I ever give leeway. 
every time I check the time on Patek Felipe. So after he says that, all of a sudden, Krishan starts tweeting him. And again, this is why I said yesterday, I'm not going to get my emotions wrapped up in this. Because she's going to go running back to him with that big toothless grin. <laughs> talking about how much she misses him. So this is her recent tweet. Krishan says, no, I'm just being honest. You got to miss me. We literally tweeting back and forth like, hey, daddy, what's up? Besides all that you doing, you must miss me. You literally typing on your phone to communicate to me. At this point, I can't wait to love on you when I see you. Now, if that's not bad enough, she then also says, I only like the beef because it's with my favorite person on my mind. I miss you, daddy. Oh, my. Tongue emoji. So, like I said, they are currently lighting her up all over social media. People are over this twisted love triangle. So, underneath them comments, people are for real dragging her. Like, you know what? This is insane. But I told y'all that was going to happen. <laughs> she has some type of Stockholm syndrome to his dick. I don't know what it is. So then he replies back and he says, but I'm the problem, right? I'm telling y'all she's freaked out in the head. And then somebody else says to her, Krishan and Blueface don't text each other. And she says, we blocked each other. So they blocked each other on the phone. So they're doing all this publicly on social media. So Again, I don't stupid. see her leaving him anytime soon. Um, I don't think she's going to have an abortion. Um, he might pressure her and keep asking, but... She likes the attention and she wants ties to that man. You know, she figures this is her come up. He's helped, you know, put her on a level that she wouldn't have been able to get on by herself. And at this point, you know, she looks to him for her comfort, her solace, her love. It's really sad. And she comes from a huge family, you know, and she's grown. I get it. But I just wish maybe her mom, her dad, her sisters would just come get her. Maybe spend some time back with the family in Baltimore. Give her a break from all this nonsense. But the fact that people are arguing if this child should be aborted or not is just sad. And like I said, you know, the sad part is this child has to, has to come into this toxic situation that they didn't ask to be born into. So with that being said, I leave the question. They are so fucking embarrassing. I cannot. I really wanted to watch this video, though, to see what the excuse would be as to why she's not keeping this baby. Because to be honest, I feel like she's not even pregnant. I feel like all of this is just a show. Like they're just putting on a show. I don't think that she's carrying a child at all. It's just not giving that from looking at her stomach, but maybe she's not far along enough. I guess she just doesn't look pregnant to me. And I just feel like she's she's just lying. She's lying. And now you're just casually talking about, oh, I, I might kill this baby on Instagram Live. like. I just don't believe it. I think that they are some clout demons and they doing whatever to stay relevant and keep their name in the blogs. That's just what I think, for sure. We'll see what happens. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want me to watch and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!